Next, we will beat our ingredients. Be sure to mix around your bacon every now and then to evenly cook it. Now we will start our potatoes. We will begin by melting our butter and adding about a tablespoon of olive oil. Now that our butter is melted, we will add our onions. Next, we will strain our potatoes once more and then throw them into the frying pan and mix thoroughly. When your bacon is browned, remove and set aside. Once all the bacon is removed, we will keep the bacon fat in the pan as we will be using this later. Next, add about a half a teaspoon of salt to the potatoes as well as a half a teaspoon of pepper, and mix well. Add another tablespoon of butter. Now, we will saute our onions in the bacon fat. Then we will add our mushrooms to brown them off. Add about a half a tablespoon of pepper for a little bit of seasoning. Make sure you stir occasionally to evenly brown the potatoes and the mushrooms. Now we will add the bacon strips to the egg and then mix evenly.
Before adding the egg mix to the mushrooms, we will add about a tablespoon of butter. Once the butter is melted, we will add our egg mix to the pan. Be sure to mix evenly. Your oven should already be preheated to 350 degrees. Now we will place the frittata mix into the oven. Let's add a little paprika to our potatoes to give it some extra flavor. Make sure to check on your frittata occasionally. To see if your frittata is cooked, shake the pan. If it jiggles, it still needs a few more minutes. After a few more minutes, our frittata is done. Remove and let cool. After cooling for about three to five minutes, we could plate and serve. And there you have it, Canadian style frittata. For a recap on today's recipe, log on to www.mocrebec.com slash mrba slash mrba dot html.